In reverse? In reverse. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got my mate Ross Canizaro, who you would have seen on the show before, catching brim and all other sorts, flathead, all sorts of things that we've caught. Renowned brim angler has never caught a Murray cod. There's a reason why we're here. We've got the tinny all packed, ready to go. You've got to be excited about this, surely. I don't think you understand the excitement that's going running through my body right now. Mate. <laughs> you look at that water, how can't you get excited? Oh, look, it's, it's a beautiful morning. It's a bit foggy at the moment. That means hopefully that barometer's rising and the fish are going to be biting. I've worn the green and gold today because I love my, I love my Murray Cod. They're our Aussie natives. They're fantastic things to catch. We've got a couple of techniques. Going to throw a bit of surface, uh, some surface laws around, I should say. Get a bit, of, hopefully get some surface action. Those surface strikes when you get them are just unbelievable on Murray Cod. And then we've got some cool rigs with some soft plastics as well. So we'll hit the surface. When I get in a bite, we'll go a bit deeper. As we do, we'll mix it up a bit. You always <laughs> really G me up when it comes to this place. So let's well, make it let's happen. Let's go, eh? It is, I reckon this is some of my favourite fishing that I do throughout the year, is this. We've got a couple of different outfits targeting the Murray Cod here uh, today. So I've got spin rods and also got uh, low profile bait casters. So we've got um, these walk the dog style top water lures, which hopefully we can get a bite on. But quite often, you know, it depends this time of year, things are cooling down. They don't always bite on the surface. But what we have got are these, these cool rigs here. So um, they've got a little um, Colorado blade, col a gold flasher down the bottom there. And you can rig them weedless, so you, you can actually get them right up in amongst the snags, or you can expose the hook a little bit. And we're going to run these big curly tail grubs. You know, I haven't caught cod on these before, and I've been wanting to do it. And I reckon they work, I, I, using, even using spinner bait to use big curly tails as an attractant. So I, I reckon they'll work. And they've got this spring system. So I'll just wind that plastic, soft plastic up into the spring. And I want him to sort of sit I reckon he needs to sit with that tail up that way. And I'll just um, line that up there, I reckon, Roscoe, and we'll go straight through there like that. And that's how I want him to sit. So it's gonna sit in the water like that. And you've, so you've got that gold flasher rig underneath and that tail, and they work at such slow speed. And with Murray Cod, it's all about lots of action at a really slow speed. Um, you find a nice snag cast in there, and you've gotta wake them up sometimes, be prepared to put the cast in. So you're gonna go, a lighter colour. They're super heavily scented these and they've just got so much action at that slow speed. So you go that lighter colour, I'll go the pink and we'll give it a crack and we'll try with the surface lures as well and mix it up a bit and see what we can do. Yep. Like you said mate, out the middle. Out in the middle. I thought I look on the sounder and there's a bit of structure out in the middle there, Roscoe. It's awesome. Good fish too, mate. Well, we've had a couple of bites and we've missed a few so far, so it's nice to hopefully stay connected to this He's one. He's going good. Oh, oh, look at him. He's a beautiful fish. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I've lost myself. Plastic. <laughs> there we go. And scoot that. Oh, you get the plastic? Scoot that plastic back up. Oh, that's, that's all right. He'll get him in. Well done. All right. That's what they look like. <laughs> That's awesome. So is that the first one you've actually seen in the flesh? I've never seen one, mate. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, actually touch him. I can't believe I'm apologising for catching a fish, but I was really hoping that you were going to, you were going to be, you, you were going to be the one before me. So you, yeah, you give him the grip. I'm going to touch your fish, mate. Oh, you, you do that. <laughs> so give him a little support there. Look at that. What a beautiful oh. looking fish. And that, that just shows you how, how good this, um, this system is when you, when you look how healthy that fish is. It's. Um, Got those beautiful colours on it. It's its fins are just per everything's perfect about it. All right, mate. We'll get the hook out of that one and pop him back in. Excellent, mate. Well, thanks for letting me. Oh, oh. Bro. <laughs> that 
that was a, that was a great release that one there. That I wanted to get a photo mate. of that fish. I can't believe. It. So this is what happens when you take your mates fishing and they haven't caught a cod. I reckon he's deep down. He's gutted that he didn't get the first one. So before I got to get my phone up and take a photo, the big fellas <laughs> let it go. But that's that's all right. That's all right. I was trying to do a bit I've of fish. I've got him at the front. After him. I'm, that you were. I've got him at the front. So he's getting the gun cast. There's a good looking snag up here. I will consider whether I'll let you have first Sorry. cast. Sorry, that. that was my complete fault. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find a few more. Could this be, I'm going to get the net. This could be your first ever Murray oh. Cod. We're going to get him out of that snag, mate. He's unbelievable. Oh, oh there nice he one. is in the sunshine. <laughs> will I net him or not? Will I, will I net him? I think I've better. Oh, mate, get him, get him, please come get on, him, come please on, get on. him. Yes! <laughs> it's your first cod ever. Yes! Well, yes. Well, man, awesome. Oh, I've been wanting to do that for so many years. Oh. Sensational. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's good now the sun's up. I actually put the sunnies on and I can, polarising down, we can see. When it was early, it's difficult to see. I mean, looking at, pretty hard at the sounder to try and find what depth we're in. We can see a little bit visually now, which is really cool. So I'll just sneak us around here. I oh, know, congratulations, so, mate. It's a, I'm it, so it's, excited. <laughs> in a world where everything's a given, it's cool that there's still things out there like what we're doing today. If you've never caught a Murray Cod, hey, Exploring with the car topper like this is just a, such a good way to do it. It's a good setup. We've got electric motor on the front, little sounders buzzing away. Look at the sounder there now. Incredible. Look at that. So it all makes a difference. There's really good structure underneath us too, but first, first, pick it up. Show everyone. Oh. Still fresh and away. Oh. Beautiful. God, he's gorgeous. Beautiful stuff. We'll get it that uh, Smiling face fish. in a photo, yeah. So it's it's um it's just a nice one to be able to tick that box off, isn't it? And so you've I'm sure you'll be back. It is just magnificent here. There's no other word to describe it. It's just such glorious country. There's no wind today, and the sun's just starting to poke through pretty well, and the cod are biting. Right, mate, get him back in the water. Check that out. <laughs> there you go. Watch him swim off. He'll power off. There you go, bud. Woo. <laughs> Oh, he climbed on that fish, one. Mate. There's a bite. Come on, buddy. It's been a little bit quiet for the last 40 minutes. And we've headed back down, back down the river. Oh, oh he's a little bit better, that one. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, well done, mate. That's nice awesome. Dark looking fish. Very dark in this little section. Yeah. He's, on the, he's on the hot pink. He's on the retro, that one. It's a, one of our retro cod. It did go a little bit quiet, but don't you reckon? It did go quiet and then came back up that shallow patch. Oh, yeah, 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 you lifted my fish up. You scurvy. I just love touching them. I know, you do. It's, you've caught a cod now, so you've got to show a bit of cod cad etiquette. Cad etiquette? Cad that's a word. Oh, because I'm a really. cadet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well done, mate. The, the amazing fish. thing with them is, so we're using a 6 -0, um, that weedless, with a uh, weedless hook with the little gold flasher there, and that's a 6 -0, but they have got a big mouth and and they're such a predator, I'll just give him a little drink there. Oh, I've got a good grip, I've got a good thumb grip. Not like some of my, some people I go fishing with. We won't mention any names, we did lose one at the side of the, well, we didn't lose it, we had a fast release. Look, accepted. accepted. I don't know what it's gonna do a relationship, but it's accepted. <laughs> I think we're pretty good. But they feed on all sorts of things, and we've had a, this massive mice plague this time of year, so we thought we'd actually get a couple on the surface, but the water's quite cold, and I think they've shut down. But you can imagine that dark back, um, sitting there with those eyes on the top of their head. Anything that swims across the top, a lizard, a snake, a moth, uh, cicadas, mice, definitely, they love mice. And when they get bigger, baby birds, all sorts of things, cod will eat. They are an amazing looking fish, Roscoe. Look at, look how they sit. When you sit them against the rocks, you can see where that camouflage happens. Check that out. What a cracker. Oof. <laughs> Get 
Yeah. Oh, good fish. Oh. <laughs> right in the snags there. Landed it right on his head, Roscoe, that one, I reckon. Oh, dear. That was brilliant. Right on his head. Tell why this is so addictive. Oh, to people. that was pretty cool, eh? Incredible. Christ, he's a, look at him, he's a swine. Oh, he's swine it too. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. He has just cracker. climbed on that. Absolute cracker. Uh, that was pretty cool. On the drop, was it? Oh, he just ate it. I reckon oh, yeah. I. There are fish, Murray Cod, that just have their favourite location where they hang out. I'll just give this fish a little bit of a drink while we're, we're there for a minute. So accuracy of cast, I reckon, is one of the you know one of the really big things. And Roscoe being a brim tournament angler, you know, you're firing around jetties and pylons and getting your cast in the right spot. And I reckon that was the difference with catching that fish and not. Um, the sun's up a bit higher now, and they've tucked right up under the banks and in the snags. And it's about putting it in the in the right spot and getting that kind of a result. <laughs> and I reckon that landed right on that fish's head. It's had its eyes looking up there and it's just climbed on it. As you can see, it is just engulfed that law. We might even pull a tinny out and I've got another section of the river that I fished a bit back down that way. We'll go and do that. You got your first cod, which was pretty cool. So Makes all the difference oh, to me. Yeah. Loving it. Catching glorious looking fish like that is just it is sensational. All right, off you go, mate. I'll come and see you when you get a little bit bigger, eh? <laughs> We had a great session this morning with four nice cod. Roscoe got his first one up. We've uh, had a bit of a move, went through some crazy river crossings. Pretty rough, actually. Saw a black snake. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Dangerous, Darted but cool. Dangerous, but cool, yeah. So there's lots happening at the moment. This is a nice section of river. I've actually fished this one before. We're going to spend the afternoon here. It looks really good. Um, the water's normally a bit clearer. We've had some rain. That's dropped the temperature a bit. I reckon that's what slowed them down on the surface action. So I think we'll stick to the soft plastics at this point. Oh, oh got him yes. right there. Oh, wow. Rod tipped me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, how cool is that? That's a good fish too, look at that. That's a chunky one. That's what oh. we call a rod tipper. <laughs> yeah. I was, looking, I was looking through my glasses and I saw oh, that whole yes. thing happen there. That's a chunky one. That's so exciting, man. Oh, that oh. was a rod tipper. It's wow. holding over there, bud. Sit him in there. Wow. He just he just crunched me right at the rod tip. And I was, I was winding that um, that weedless rig over the rocks and I, just as it was bouncing over the rocks, I'm going, no, that's a, oh, that's a rock. Oh, tap the rock. Tap the rock. Tap. Oh, no, that's not the rock. That's a bite. <laughs> I kept winding and then it ate it right there. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at him. So Murray Cod, they're just an amazing fish. So right through the Murray Darling Basin. Um, of course, Murray Cod named after the well, named after the Murray River. But see, that's a nice chunky one, that one. And uh, so you catch them in New South Wales where we are, and of course we're fishing around uh, in Varel at the moment in some of the little creeks and river systems. Spectacular part of central New South Wales. We get them in Victoria, um, into South Australia and the top end of Queensland. So they have a very, very big distribution range. Oh, hey, that is good fun, eh, Roscoe? Unbelievable. Look at that go. Woo. Enjoyed it thoroughly, <laughs> mate. Got a little sounder built into our car top of tinny. That's showing 14 metres, I think, there. Amazing how deep it is. So um, it just pays to have your electronics set up because it could be a really big cod, the cod of a lifetime, laying in this big, deep hole. And quite often those real big fish will do that. So when you're exploring, a uh, little unit like that is perfect. And you've got down scan and uh, digital sounder capabilities as well. And then, yeah, there's a little bit of structure down underneath there. So I'm just dropping the, the lure down in amongst it, see if I can't get a bite. And the other thing is you'll find logs and lay downs and boulders all through here. So not only fishing what you can see, the visual aspect of it, but what's underneath here as well will hold some really good cod. Yep, got him. Yep. 
Well, I can see your rod tip bouncing then. Good one. I think he's very heavy, mate, but um, All right. he hasn't woken up yet. Oh, 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 <laughs> around, around, oh, around that yeah. way. Is there any small oh, one? It's a, it's a good one. That's a pretty... <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to throw me in the drink. <laughs> oh, dear. Nice, oh, pretty one. Very, very pretty. I reckon I can probably... Oh, do the honours, mate. A bit of banging around there. Yes, yeah, so we can't just give him the instant cod grip this way. He's not going to let me in there, I don't think. Got him. It's so addictive, this. Yeah. That's the addiction right there. Beautiful fish. That, that, the colours on that are just insane. Look at that. That's very and healthy. How, very the, healthy. Oh. It's a healthy system, there's no doubt. That, oh, bang, bang. It's a healthy system, there's no doubt about that. That's a beautiful looking fish, that one. He's a cracker, Roscoe. The colours on that, just amazing. And that that uh, that rig has just, that, that weedless rig has just got him in the corner of the jaws. I can't just pop that out. I reckon I can. Oh, and I'll let him go like that. <laughs> Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile. Be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Pretty handy having the electric motor on here. If, if not, you'd have to tie off to trees or try and jam yourself in a bank. Uh, makes it a lot tougher, that's for sure. We'd have a little rope and tie off. It's just perfect here because we can hit that spot lock. That westerly wind's blowing probably at about, it's actually stronger than you think, probably 10 knots there now. And um, if we didn't have that, we'd be just racing through. So we just find a little patch like this, a little area that looks good and fish it properly rather than having two casts and then firing off down the down the, uh, down the creek further. You can sort of pick your spots and continually sort of hit those areas where you really think a cod's gonna be laying. So uh, yeah, I'd, I reckon we'll be lost without the old electric up the front there. It makes it so much easier, doesn't it? Where you can just sit here. Oh, I thought I had a bite then. Where you can just sit here and work the area properly. Bite. Bite? Yep. Good bite or not? Yeah. Oh yes. Whack. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. That that was a bite. I thought we might get one there, Roscoe. And we have. Love it when a plan comes together. You did say it on that oh. side. Chunky, chunky, chunky. <laughs> oh, another junk. Yeah. Awesome. Don't forget, there's also eastern cod, uh, which are on the eastern side of the Great Dividing Range, totally protected, and their numbers have come right back, which is great. And then there's trout cod, which have got more of that sort of concave head, and they're also a protected species. Off you go, buddy. Ooh. Beautiful, mate. Mate, it's, it's time to catch another one, I Let's reckon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, ho, ho. did you see that water move there? Off you go. Oh. What did I say to you? I said there'd be a good fish along that bank. Up towards the end. Yeah, and he feels like... How's he feel? Well, I don't know, he seemed to move a bit of water there. Oh, I like he's moving a bit of water to me. We'll just tow ourselves back up this way. Oh, oh nice fish. That's a chunky one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a bit of splashing going on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yes, buddy. Oh, yes, yes. Solid. That is that solid. There. That is solid. Well done, mate. Oh. All right. Oh, nice. that's a bit of a football on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the mouth on that. That's a solid one. Check that out. Beautiful. Absolutely. What a crack of an afternoon. Mate, I reckon that's about done us for the day, that one. Oh. What do you reckon? I'll tell you. It's been an absolute experience that I'll never forget. Yeah, you just uh, spin us around there a bit so everyone can see at home. But yeah. 
and we, we're sort of right on that bite window really, that sort of late afternoon bite window when they, when they come alive and start running around and as far as creek cod goes, that's probably your better than average size I reckon that one there. You know, get a lot of those smaller fish and it's just fantastic to see Murray cod in such awesome numbers like we've got here, it's just brilliant. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Check that out for a magnificent looking creek, Murray Cod. We've been fishing in and around the Sapphire City, Inverell. Plenty of creeks and rivers to explore, so make sure you put Inverell on your travel plans when you're out and about fishing. Ross Canazaro, Michael Guest, you've been watching some serious real action out of the car <laughs> topper today. We've had a great time. We'll get that uh, soft plastic out of its mouth. We'll let this one go. Catch you next time. See ya. <laughs> Keep slamming you. If you want more tips, tricks and behind the scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast. <laughs>